the reality of it is so much stronger when they look at the valley and the sea from their suite and realize that if they want this to exist in the future, they have to live like this hotel is built. All of that was done and supplied and available without affecting the planet negatively. Dominica was a shock from the start. Nature just in your face. It's not a beach island. It's mainly a mountainous island. Nature, big trees, rivers, it is unspoiled. So perfect set up for us to do the project and make it as a demonstration for what can be done. Living truly off-grid, without compromise. Finding this ridge at the edge of the sea inspired the design of the project. The land started to basically talk to me and tell me what it should be. The angle of the mountain, where the sun would set, where the sundown would come, all of that influenced the way the buildings are made to take advantage of their location to be better aligned with the sun so that we can start to collect the sun early morning until the end of the day to follow that ridge. And that ridge is not perfectly straight. calculations were made to produce in excess of what we considered would be the demand and store energy for the day where you have no sun. We have wind turbine as experimental at night when people are using the AC, so we're not connected to any grid in any way. The orientation and angle of the roof is not only for solar, it's also for optimal water collection. Every area where people can actually walk are also harvesting water for gardening and for the farm. Where we are on a ridge at the edge of the sea between us and Africa, it's only the Atlantic Ocean. So water comes here quite clean, but that's not enough. One excessive aspect of the project is that we have six pools for 14 hotel suites to push the limit of what we can support with off-grid power. If this demonstration of being self-sustainable had to be viable, it had to last. All the essential service, batteries, water cistern, are all located underground to be completely protected from a storm or a earthquake. So when the Hurricane Maria arrived, we were right at the center of it. Destroyed all the natural forests that we see now. Destroyed villages, destroyed all the power lines on the island. But the project, because it was designed for that, was able to actually survive. The villagers were stuck with no power and no water for a long time. What could be done in the future to make sure that people don't get it again the same way? Develop the island to be resilient, do a good marriage between the touristic industry and their own life. They benefit directly to the community and they become owned by the community. What we achieve with the project is a demonstration of how you could harness nature to live well, to experience planet comfortably, 
in a symbiotic way. The way we integrate the technology, where you actually are in connection with the environment. We wanted to make sure that it could be used somewhere else in the future. Using this project as a reference for future growth of tourism on this island, if you design properly today and still not impact negatively on the environment.